own basically the Root Assassin shovel, but I have the larger one, uh, which is a little bit taller. This was sold out because this is the one that I wanted. To me, this is one of the greatest garden tools you can ever buy, or any kind of a tool that you need around the house. Whether you're putting plants in the ground, trying to remove rocks or stones, trying to get through the roots, this will go through the toughest store, uh, uh, soil. I used to live in Arizona, we had that clay soil. Because it's got these saw teeth, it goes right through anything. It goes through roots, it goes through limbs, uh, any kind of stuff that might be in the ground, all right? It's lightweight easy to handle. I have it available. Speaking of the handle, it comes in red or it comes in green. Uh, you know, it weighs less than three pounds, has the big rubberized grip. You will love this. It's on sale today, $29.95. I started my day when I looked yesterday, there were 1,200. I think I have 950 left. So already people are gobbling this one up. It's great to leverage out plants. The item number is 777. 734, and here's the best part. Who gives a shovel a lifetime warranty? Anything happens to this shovel, while you own it, they will replace the shovel for free. Lifetime warranty. I've never heard of that before. Peter Kilcullen. How you doing? Look at it, it's the blue shirt thing, I know, we man. did this last week, too. It was great we're just, last week. We're, we're right here, Pete and I are right there. Good to see That's you, too, right. buddy. This thing is amazing. I know. It's Guy amazing. I was really excited this morning when I, I saw this shovel. And he talked about it. So before we can actually do some digging in the dirt, I, I wanted to just talk about some of those details that yeah. you were going through. Again, carbon steel. But here's what's so cool. You said less than three pounds, and you've got carbon steel. You've got those serrated teeth on both sides. 16 teeth. They're double sharpened. So what that means is you're going to be cutting when you push into the ground along that root and trying to break through all that the stumps and things like that. And as you pull back out, which I think is awesome, that you can saw those roots because you, you always get roots while you're digging. Yeah. And look at this rounded off tip that we have here. This, you can see, it's not only rounded, but it's shaved thinner. So you have that round point that allows you to get much deeper down into the soil, super easy. All of this is to make your digging easier and easier. Even right here where we have this folded over edge, that's where you're gonna put your foot on there and that allows you to get a little bit more force into the ground. All of these things to make this the perfect shovel. It's compact, it's lightweight, but it really works. Yeah. Because have you done, I, I, we talked about this, transplanting, or maybe you've got to get rid of some bushes, some hedges. Right, So you right. can cut them down, maybe with the chainsaw that you were talking about, cut them down. But now you've got to dig out that stump, the uh, roots. And you have a shovel that, uh, that you can handle, right? Because a lot of shovels are big, they're clumsy, wooden handles break. This is guaranteed for a lifetime. So if you're a gardener at all, are you doing any kind of yard work? Even if you have to pry rocks out of the ground, something happens to this shovel, it cracks, whatever, which it won't with the, with the carbon steel, you'll get a free replacement. So, I, I mean, there's no question. I also like the fact that if you are lower to the ground, maybe you have your garden kneeler and you're down there digging, you don't have a shovel that's way up over your head. You can hold it right like this. I'm gonna walk over to Pete. We're gonna show you exactly how it works. So come on over, we got some soil yeah. area over here, Pete. Yeah, it's just like everything that you talked about, how it goes into the ground just so much easier. And I found originally, like you said, that I was using the 48 inch, but the 32 still makes it compact and easy oh, yeah. to get underneath, to get that leverage. So your foot's on here where I told you where it was folded over that steel, and then you can push down in there. It gets down because of that, that arrowhead shape. And then again, you're prying that up. You know it's super um, strong because of that carbon steel. It's fantastic. So you're digging through, and then you always end up getting to the roots. So I just want to show you this. We don't have roots necessarily, but I'll use this stick kind of as a demonstration of what we're getting with those serrated teeth, that I can put that, as I dig in there, I'm actually using that as a oh, saw, that. and then you're through that root. So normally, that you would have awesome. to dig down. Yeah. Do you remember doing this with a shovel? You know, you have the only thing you have on a, a regular shovel, or like that spade shape, is that point. So it would be this, again, and yeah, again, yeah, yeah. And again <laughs> trying to break that yeah. root. But here, you're putting that in the ground, and now you're going back and forth, you're cutting those roots, and it makes it so much easier to dig through stumps yeah. and roots and hedges transplanting, it's the perfect size. You will be able to get that done so much. I mean, look at that. That's a great demonstration as well. But imagine that's down in the dirt as you're digging. 
and it just it kind of ends your whole day. Yeah, and, and you and, can't get that root out. And and you don't have to switch around with five different tools. You can do it all one. That's a really good shot to show you just how much it can get. I like the the shape of it for leveraging yeah. things out of the ground. Normally, when you have a shovel, it's wide. It's about as wide as it is long, because this uh, point is so long. And if you come into mine right here, yeah. when I put it in the ground, right here. Now, as you can see, I can I can leverage it as it's working its way down back and forth. So it's going in a lot easier than a wider shovel would have gone in. And then I can pull back and you'll see how it's strong enough to, to, to get all that right through. And if I'm going in a circle, I can do that to, to, to put my plants in a lot easier with a smaller nose shovel than you would with a big wide shovel. Yeah, the transplanting, it's perfect. Removing those roots and stumps and hedges and bushes. You know, this is this kind of area, this planter box that we have here, this is something that you might have to replan every year. Right. Maybe you're really into some hedges or some small bushes, they look great, but they don't make it till the next year. You've got to be able to pull those out. So it's getting all around that plant with this, getting in and around there, lifting, getting in and around, lifting, but when you come across those roots, you're going to be able to get on top of that root and you can cut right through it with 16 teeth. There we go, through. Look at that. I mean, that's the difference when you're using a shovel that's unlike any other it's, shovel. It's a shovel and a saw all at the same time, and it works on all those different things. And again, it's a shovel you're going to be able to handle at only three pounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, and again, you've got a lifetime warranty. If anything happens to the shovel, they're going to replace it for you. You have nothing to lose. Imagine, I mean, how many shovels have you had that you've had forever? You, you can't say that about a lot of them. It's all uh, uh, high-end steel welds. You've got carbon steel on the shaft, uh, and it's very, very thick. Um, it's still a tubular shaft, but it's very, very heavy, uh, and it's going to be a lot, or very, very solid. It's going to be a lot easier to use than a wooden handle. You're not going to get the splinters, all that stuff. Easy to hang in the shed. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And as I said before, you're never going to have to replace it. I mean, I, when, I, when I read that, I was like, that's why I bought the other one, because I'm like, nobody gives a shovel a lifetime warranty. It's, it's crazy how well built this is. G guy, even so much as if you use this for a couple of years and you're cutting those roots, as I was just showing with those serrated teeth, you can actually sharpen those again to make them like new again if you are going to. Look at that. That's a pretty large tree. What was that? A small tree and they're digging that out. It's the perfect shovel for that transplanting, for getting through the roots and stumps. I mean, if you've done any replanting in your yard, you know what a struggle it can be. You know what I've done in the past? What's that, Pete? I've had a, a, a chainsaw, and we had so many roots that I'm, I'm pushing the chainsaw into the ground. <laughs> now, this destroyed the chainsaw after just a few cuts. Right. Imagine all the dirt going through your chainsaw. So certainly that wasn't recommended. And then, you know, you're trying to use the cutters and things like that, but you're stopping and you're going to get another tool. Here, if you can get through those roots with this root assassin, it makes it so much easier. I, and you're never gonna do damage to that shovel. No, and you know, I've, I've, I've been waiting for this to come back. You know, I have the gardening show, right, on Fridays, and we have not been able to get this in. We only got, like I said, we got about 1,200 is all we got. You see our left counter up there? My producer, who is uh, the amazing Andre, just said, if you want it in green, I got 350 left in green, if you want to get the green one. All right, and I, about the same, well, just a little bit more than that in the red if you want to get it. It's going to make life easy. If you are a gardener at all or just like to do uh, work around the house, you're going to appreciate the shape and design of this shovel. Yeah, exactly. It goes into the ground 100 times easier. I used to live out in Arizona. Do you ever try to dig? I mean, I don't know if you've been out there. It's like the, the clay, clay is yeah. hard as a rock. But that's what this design is meant for. This design is going to get deeper every single time you push it into the ground. So you're doing it quicker, you're doing it easier, and then, <laughs> look at that. And then when you, spear, get those, you get those roots, you're yeah. going to be able to move through those as well. So, I mean, is it the perfect shovel, guy? It's better Come than the on. It's a Isn't perfect it? shovel that you'll have the rest of your life. Right. I think it's cool when you can find something like, hey, it's just a shovel, yeah. but it's better than one you've ever used. Hey, it's on sale, $29.95. You want to pick it up? The quickest way to order it is that little code right underneath there. Take your uh, phone out, put on the camera, hold it up. You can order it just like that. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Good to see you, Thanks. Pete. All right, we're going to continue on. Now, you know I could have picked anything. All right, as far as garden tools, I picked my absolute favorite, the number one that I love. It is my today's special on our host, Dave Show. Here we go.